What's up everybody? This is my recently completed $5,000 prepper food storage pantry. It's got a combination of food supplies, regular household supplies, medical supplies, toiletries. I'm going to show how I built the closet real quick and then I'm going to do a full tour where I go shelf by shelf on each unit and show what I have. First thing I did was remove all the shelving, patch the holes, and I did a nice fresh coat of paint. These are the shelving units I decided on. Here's a look inside the box. Everything is super thick and heavy duty. So here's the first shelving unit. And on the outside edge of the carpet, there's a tack strip, so it adds a little bit of height. So I cut these little risers, and I'm gonna put them underneath the legs in the middle of the floor. So I purchased some of these hardboard sheets. They're two feet by four feet. It's really smooth on one side, and then it's got kind of a rough texture on the other. And the sheets almost fit perfectly. I'm gonna have to do a little trimming. I'm building some custom shelving units. So I installed this shelf against the wall. And this shelving unit fits in this little gap, custom made. I take a sharpie and mark the expiration date on a place that's easy to read. And these dates are actually a best buy date. And I have eaten tuna fish that was eight years past the date on the can and it tasted perfectly fine. And this is kind of an insurance policy. It's better to have this and not need it than to need it and not have it. With the craziness of the pandemic, I can kind of see the end of civilization. If the virus was like a 20% death rate or something, where grocery stores wouldn't be open at all, it would be just total chaos and mayhem. So this would keep me alive and I would be one of the few people to survive. I'll start the tour right here. I have a safe bolted to the floor. This is for stuff like home protection and defense. And then I have a little shelving unit bolted to the wall. I have flavored teas. I have spices, cinnamon, garlic salt, Lowry's seasoning salt. I have black pepper, and then I have uh, isopropyl alcohol. I have some honey, more isopropyl alcohol, hydrogen peroxide. I have some Ziploc bags. I have more tea, regular black tea, and this is more flavored tea. Constant Comment Earl Grey. 
And now I'll do the first heavy duty shelving unit. One thing I discovered, if you put a lot of weight on these things, you have to in install the first shelf right at the bottom. Because before I had the first shelf up here and it was kind of wobbly. Having it at the bottom really makes the whole thing super structurally stiff and sturdy. Okay, up top I have tissues. Little boxes of facial tissues. And then I have toilet paper. And it's just a bunch of it. And then I have instant coffee. A lot of the stuff I bought doesn't need to be cooked or heated up. So I have a whole bunch of instant coffee. I have chicken soup. I have oatmeal. And you don't need to cook this if you just soak it in some water. It's ready to eat. And then I have nuts. This is very calorie dense. And it's healthy fat and protein. I've got uh, peanuts, mixed nuts. And then I have nut butter. I have almond butter and natural peanut butter. This is the healthy stuff. That is just nuts and salt. There's no sugar or anything like that. Now I have uh, spaghetti sauce and spaghetti. And technically, you don't even need to cook this. If you just soak the noodles in water for an hour or two, just add some sauce and it's ready to eat. Down here I have soap. This is dishwashing soap. I have a whole bunch of Hormel chili. Here, I'll pull this out. I'll pull these two things out and show what's inside here. In this tub, this is all roasted almonds. Whole bunch of that, that's healthy. And then in this tub, I have soap bar soap and also lotion because one thing that would really make life suck is if i didn't have any lotion to keep my like the skin of my hands hydrated so i have a whole bunch of that a couple years worth on the very bottom row i have olive oil whole bunch of olive oil. I have a whole bunch of macadamia nut oil, avocado oil, and then I have vinegar. Got regular for like cleaning stuff. And this is also good to mix 50-50 with isopropyl alcohol for like an ear infection. And then I have basically a whole bunch of this Bragg's gallon jugs apple cider vinegar for salad dressing mixed with the oil now I'll move on to this shelving unit got more toilet paper here's more toilet paper and then I have electrical appliances like backed up and I'm going to buy a little solar power generator with a solar panel so I can run small things that use less than a thousand watts. This is a Panasonic inverter microwave. You can set it to use less than a thousand watts. Got a little hot pot. You can, this runs at about 900 watts. You can use it to boil water for coffee, tea, and to cook stuff like noodles. For spaghetti got an electric hot plate burner this uses about 970 watts or so to cook eggs and a pancake then I've got a blender where I chop up vegetables for soups 
And these are mason jars with dehydrated and vacuum sealed vegetables from my garden. Got ground up hot pepper spice. Now I'll move on to this row. I'm going to pull stuff out and show it section by section. Right here I have bags of rice flour. And this is for, I make small batches of chocolate chip cookies. And this is, this is healthy gluten-free flour. And then I have Bisquick. And this is for pancakes. Got three boxes. Then there's two rows of chunky soup. Next up is two rows of Progresso soup. The variety of flavors. And then there's Dinty Moore beef stew. And these pouches of tuna fish. And on the far end, we've got cans of tuna fish. And canned chicken breast. And in this next row, got some flats of beanie weenies. Next up, some SpaghettiOs. And then there's chicken noodle soup. Six boxes of sweet peas cans and in the back edge we've got sweet corn 12 cans per box on this very bottom row I have juice but the main reason I buy this is for the plastic jugs themselves once I drink the juice, I fill them up with water, and now I'll have drinking water, a large storage supply. We'll move on to this custom shelving unit. I made it specifically tall enough so it can fit two stacks of paper towels. Now I'll pull out all these Tupperware containers and I'll show what's inside of these. And this one, packages of craisins, dried cranberries. I mix this in with a pancake and also cookies. Got milk chocolate chips. This is for cookies and pancakes. And then this is mashed potatoes. I really like this. This is super easy to make. You do one scoop of this and one scoop of water. Instantly make some delicious mashed potatoes. Here's some more mashed potatoes. I've got Morton's iodized salt. And then some spices. Got ground nutmeg, this is for cookies, and pumpkin spice, which is for pancakes and cookies. There's three containers full of beef jerky, beef steak, beef jerky, individually wrapped, and in this container got stuff like acetaminophen, 
Some extra strength Tylenol, ibuprofen, got multivitamins, other types of vitamins with zinc, got aspirin, allergy medicine. Here I've got cotton, kind of like cotton ball things to like clean, clean wounds with isopropyl alcohol. Got a whole bunch of toothpaste. Got a whole Ziploc bag full of chapstick. Got band-aids. Got a whole bag full of Neosporin. And in the back row, I have dried whole egg powder. Altogether, there's 10 cans. And you can buy all different types of stuff that comes in these cans. And I think this is the only thing that's not a gimmick. These cans last over 10 years. So I'll be able to have eggs every morning. And on the very bottom shelf, I have trash bags. Hundreds and hundreds of kitchen trash bags. I've also got other supplies, various parts of the house. Got a lot of cat food and whey protein powder, maple syrup, cat treats, more cat food. I've got cat like uh, dewormer pills, more cat treats, more cat food. I'm also keeping a stockpile of bleach. I've got six gallons right here. This is to sterilize water. In this other closet, I've got more drinking water and reused juice jugs. And when I finish bottles of vinegar, I fill them with water and I put them down here in the garage. So I've got even more supplies of drinking water. And coming from a downspout from a roof gutter, I've got rain barrels and these things will fill up every time it rains. My house is about a five minute walk right up there and there's a freshwater creek. This is called a Berkey water filter. You can put in creek water, rain water, and the filters inside will purify the water, make it drinkable, and it's gravity fed, it doesn't need electricity.